all right guys so i want you to take a look at this footage right here this is what a third world country looks like i meant a democrat run city this city right here seattle this is unbelievable footage of democrat run city looking like a wasteland garbage everywhere now i've been to my fair share of developing countries i've been to mexico honduras belize colombia right i've been in a lot of places in developing countries particularly south america and the cities in those countries are not this dirty and disgusting okay at least in the main areas maybe in the, the sketchy outskirts uh, of the city yeah definitely it looks a little something like this okay but even in the main parts of some major cities it don't look like this right this is open drug use in seattle on the corner right this is a democrat run progressive policies at work this is what it is i i couldn't believe this when i saw it i couldn't believe it i mean i this is this is incredible it's incredible seattle in 2021 experienced a record amount of crime a 14 year high right crime was up 20 percent from 2020 right 12th and Jackson in Seattle's Little Saigon, well known to be an open drug market where people sell stuff they just stole. Cops came by here before and cleaned the place up. Wiley is a regular, did not want me to show his face. Two came on, um, I mean like on this side and uh, there was one that came on this side. Then. He tells me cops routinely come here but then leave. I've directed Chief Diaz to focus his efforts on those places in our city where crime is concentrated first. Where would that be? An excellent example of this has been happening in Little Saigon at 12th Avenue South and Jackson Street. Where the mayor said in the first 21 days of January, his first 21 days as mayor, police made 23 felony and 15 misdemeanor arrests, recovered stolen property 24 times, seized narcotics 10 times. Yet when I walked through today, there was buying and selling of drugs and goods. Wiley says the market always comes back. They want them to shut down, they can shut it down, you know? Like, they'll have warrants and everything like that, you know? Yeah, but they haven't really been doing it, right? You no, kind of do, or they, they kind I mean, they do it when they're bored. So like, honestly, I think personally, they do it when they're bored, you know? When they yeah. have nothing else to do, when they have no quarter, they do it when they're bored. They got, yeah. You know, like, uh, that's what I think. It's not a pretty picture, but even if police arrest more criminals for things like selling stolen goods at 12th and Jackson, which is a misdemeanor... Those people aren't even being booked into the county jail and they're back on the street repeating crimes. Doesn't it seem like there is a gap here in your plan on the back end to keep people detained who won't, so they won't reoffend? Uh, no, not in our plan. Not in our plan. Well, shouldn't so, you be working with the justice to keep them so, uh, off the streets? So, so what I will do is stay in my space. The city attorney and the King County prosecuting attorney, uh, they, their job is to prosecute. The judges, their job are to sentence. I have to protect the city. I understand that. But I also have to stay in my lane and work with the other elected people. Yeah, I can tell you guys right now, that guy, Bruce Harrell, the mayor of uh, Seattle, he's not as progressive as some of the other candidates that ran during the last election, but that guy has no clue what's going on. He does not have a plan. He can't articulate a plan, right? The plan is literally to do nothing. The plan is to talk okay that's the plan right that's the plan because you got to be woke okay you got to be woke if you if you're tough on crime what happens is that you know you, you might be called racist you know you might be called you know uh homophobic bigot sexist they might say you hate the homeless they're gonna say all types of stuff so th there is no plan right because these are the same people that don't really support police they don't really support locking criminals up and keeping them in jail right for uh the crimes that they're committing right they're all about progressive criminal justice reform and being soft on crime and this is what you get look at this this is what happens when you allow open drug use okay when you legalize drug use or decriminalize it and you allow it to be used out and open this is what happens when you don't enforce anti-camping laws i mean look at it bruh this is crazy this is crazy this is what happens when you don't prosecute people for stealing stuff they turn around and they sell it on the street Look at it, look at a pack of meat, bruh. A pack of meat and some tie pods. Guys out here peddling a pack of meat. Look at look 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 at this. A tenderloins. You think they bought that? <laughs> no. 
No, I guarantee you, those are stolen. Peddling tenderloins, raw meat on the streets with some Tide Pods. Okay? Again, this is what happens when you don't prosecute criminals who steal, right? Who shoplift. They take this stuff and they go on the streets and they try to sell it. Trash everywhere. Garbage everywhere. This is par for the course when it comes to Democrat-run cities. Unbelievable. 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 <laughs> and to top it all off, right, the, the mayor recently spoke out about this because people are wondering why the hell is this happening, right? I mean, this is in downtown Seattle. Apparently, there's also a homeless encampment out in front of City Hall, and there's fires out there, right? People are literally starting fires out in front of City Hall, right? The fire department has to go and literally stop people from being burned alive, okay? Uh, the mayor was asked about this, and uh, his plan was to clean this up, right? Listen to this. His plan to clean this up was uh, compassion, <laughs> Take a look. Continue to ask Seattle city leaders about the homeless encampments near City Hall and when they will be removed. Work on removal had started, but it has since been paused, and now fires have happened at the camps. Camos Paul Rivera has been on the story and spoke with the mayor today. Paul? The mayor of Seattle wants people to trust the process, but in all respects to the mayor, we are trying to get specifics. So we are asking questions that you, you at home, want us to bring to the mayor. Here's what he had to say. We have to vote. We caught up with Seattle Mayor Bruce Harrell at a driver's union event in the city. There, we asked him about the homeless encampment next to City Hall. The homeless encampment right across the street from City Hall. Why hasn't that been cleared out yet? And when is that going to be rescheduled? There are actual fires happening during the day right across the street from City Hall. So what I'm trying to do is not steal the thunder of the driver's union. The mayor didn't answer the question at the podium about the camp, which was being removed this weekend while activists were present, but then that work stopped. Now fires have happened there, and authorities had to pull someone away from the flames. I'd like to talk to you off the record if we may, if you don't want. We, I'll keep walking. we need you on the record, mayor. Then, then I'm gonna go back to City Hall. He eventually gave an answer after we continued to press our questions. City Why has it not been rescheduled yet? There are but fires, we there are fires happening across. Out. This is the seat of government. You walk right you outside talk, the building. Would you like to talk? We're trying to aggressively house people. Okay. Right now it's very cold, and so my primary concern is making sure people can come out of the cold. We lead with compassion. Okay. And quick fixes are sometimes not sustainable. So what we have is a sustainable plan leading with compassion. My statement to everyone that's listening is trust the process because we are aggressively trying to make sure people are housed and people are warm. And that is our strategy. And you'll see our, our actual written plan here very shortly. But that's our actions and that's what we do. City leaders, including the mayor, they did not give a time frame on when removal would restart at the camps that are right next to City Hall. As you heard the mayor say, they do have a plan, he says, a compassionate plan for that removal to start and for them to tackle the homeless crisis. In Seattle, Paul Rivera, Como News. <laughs> That dude ain't got no plan, right? Even the local news media is mocking this guy, right? They know they're like, this dude ain't got a plan for nothing. He ain't got a plan for crime. He ain't got a plan for homelessness. This dude ain't got a plan for anything whatsoever, okay? What is your plan? Compassion, right? We got we, we got to lead with compassion, bro. That, that's not going to clear up the camps, bro. Compassion is not going to fix his problem, dog. Okay, you, you've been a little bit too compassionate, right? If you ain't got a plan, if I didn't have a plan, I would just come out and be like, listen, uh, we ain't got no plan, but we clear these people out, right? We're going to enforce our anti-camping laws, right? And if you're committing crimes and dealing drugs out in the open, uh, you're getting locked up, right? Go And we're going to prosecute you, okay? That's what I would say. I don't know where these people are going to go, but they got to get the hell out of here, right? They can't be downtown, okay? They can go somewhere, but they can't be downtown on these uh, public streets, okay, on these major streets in downtown, lording the place, making the place look like a third world country. We can't have it, right? We're cleaning up the streets. I don't know where they're going to go, right? But they got to go somewhere, right? That's what you say if you ain't got a plan, okay? That's what you say. That's what you say.
right? But this guy, again, because these people are woke, right? They're woke. They're soft on crime, right? They don't want to get homeless people off the streets. And at the end of the day, this is what law-abiding citizens that have jobs, that are actually trying to be productive, this is what they got to deal with, right? Imagine walking to work in downtown Seattle and you got to pass by a den of thieves, Right. And homeless people that selling tenderloins and top pods and drug dealing and doing drugs openly on the street every day. OK, you think that's good for business. Right. You think that's good for business. I don't think so. I really don't. I really don't. But again, this is what you get when you vote for Democrats. All these Democrat cities are looking like this. They're all being run like this. It's not a coincidence. It's because this is what you sign up for when you're voting for a Democrat. Right. People got to understand this is what you get. So let me know what you guys think. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.